Hello, welcome back to my uh, Let's Play of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Last episode was a bit of a heavy one. A uh, huge revelation and then a huge loss with, uh, with losing Ashley there. Uh, it is actually... Apparently, there were originally plans to... Uh, for you to be able to save both Ashley and Caden. Um... There's actually some dummied out dialogue uh, from them talking about some stunt that Shepard pulls. Um, and, uh, but they decided that, uh, Bioware decided that from a story reason, uh, perspective, they sort of needed to have only one of them survive. Um, before I continue the story, let's do a little bit of, uh, there's a couple of last codex entries to do. In principle, the Solarian military is similar to the Alliance, a small volunteer army that focuses on maneuver warfare. What differentiates the Solarians is not their equipment or doctrine, but their intelligence services and rules of engagement. The Solarians believe that a war should be won before it begins. Conventional wisdom holds that the Solarians know everything about everyone, and this is not far from the truth. In war, the unquestioned superiority of their intelligence services allows them to use their small military to maximum effectiveness. Well before fighting breaks out, they possess complete knowledge of their enemy's positions, intentions, and timetable. In every war the Solarians have fought, they struck first and without warning. For the Solarians, to know an enemy plans to attack and to let it happen is false. To announce their own plans to attack is insanity. They find the human moral concepts of do not fire until fired upon and declare a war before prosecuting it incredibly naive. In defensive wars, they execute devastating preemptive strikes hours before the enemy's own attacks. On the offense, they have never telegraphed their intentions with a declaration of war before attacking. Biotics are virtually unknown in the Solarian military. Those with such abilities are considered too valuable to be used as cannon fodder and are assigned to the intelligence services. While capable of defending themselves against most threats, the Solarians know that they are small fish and a universe filled with sharks. As a point of survival, they have cultivated strong alliances with larger powers, particularly with the Turians. Though the relationship between the two species was rocky at first due to the Krogan uplift fiasco, the Solarians take pains to keep this relationship strong enough that anyone who might threaten them risks Turian intervention. No more secondary codex entries. They're all done and gone. Uh, actually, no, there's one more uh, secondary entry we'll get. Ship mobility dominates space combat. The primary objective is to align the mass accelerator along the bow with the opposing vessel's broadside. Battles typically play out as artillery duels, fought at ranges measured in thousands of kilometers. Though assaults through defended mass relays often occur at knife fight ranges, as close as a few dozen kilometers. Most ship to ship engagements are skirmishes between patrol vessels of cruiser weight and below, with dreadnoughts and carriers only deployed in full scale fleet actions. Battles in open space are short and often inconclusive, as the weaker opponent typically disengages. Once a ship enters FTL flight, the combat is effectively over. There are no sensors capable of tracking them or weapons capable of damaging them. The only way to guarantee an enemy will stand and fight is to attack a location they have a vested interest in, such as a settled world or a strategically important mass relay. And the second to last primary entry, as I recall. Sovereign is the flagship of the rogue Spectre's Saren. An enormous dreadnought larger than any other ship in any known fleet, it is crewed with both Geth and Krogan. At two kilometers long, its spinal-mounted main gun is likely capable of penetrating another dreadnought's kinetic barriers with a single shot. How Saren acquired this incredible warship is unknown. The prevailing opinion is that Sovereign is a Geth construct while others believe it is a Prothean relic. Its design, however, hints at a more alien and mysterious origin. 
The attack on Eden Prime demonstrated Sovereign's ability to generate mass effect fields powerful enough to land on a planetary surface. This implies it has a massive element zero core and the ability to generate staggering amounts of power. Yeah, so, uh... Reminder, reminder that the Codex is an in-universe database. Yeah, this is sort of why I wanted to wait until after uh, Vermeer before showing off this entry. Also, pretty bitchin' image of uh, Sovereign there. Anyways. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. Where it belongs. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. Alright, not a bad start there. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mew Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The Conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The Conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. I mean, she's not wrong. I know I'm supposed to be mad at both these, you know, obstructionist civilian bureaucrats stopping me as the heroic cop from doing what needs to be done. But she's not wrong. They don't... This, the council genuinely has no proof of the Reapers existing. And they can't really make decisions like invading the damn... like an invasion based on one person's Dreams. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Fair. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. In my defense, it was the Solarians who came up with the idea of the nuke. You know, it was their idea. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. He is kind of a bastard. 
Are you insane? After everything I have done, you still don't believe me. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Yeah, Odina. Odina's a dick. Commander. Shepard. I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I mean, grounding me was pretty jerky. I don't care if they ground me, but they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? I didn't say that. We're out of the game for now, but I'll find a way back in. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. A romantic moment. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Damn it, Joker. Captain Anderson. Liara is so embarrassed. Joker, you cockwalker. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, ma'am. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. All right, Liara Kaden seemed like a good choice to, to do this. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Fun little behind the scenes pack. This is my third damn try to record this. Alliance officials report that a Geth incursion into the Armstrong Cluster has been repulsed, with the Geth suffering heavy casualties. Yeah, I did that. In the event of future Geth activity, the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area. I did that because I'm a hero. Anyway, yeah. Both of the other two times I tried, like, I clicked, you know, Control R for it to start recording. And it didn't record. Wow, that elevator felt longer than usual. Always a pain in the ass when, uh, when the buttons decide. When the app, Hello, is, when the application, the program decides Some to not do what it's supposed to. This guy had the uh, the last medical and uh, grenade upgrades. Must be someone else. All right, so nothing worth uh, buying then. member of the Alliance military has passed away. The veteran soldier who won the love of his troops during conflict with the Petarians died of natural causes. Natural causes, Kahoku huh? Is survived by his wife and three children who are planning a small private memorial service. So that's the, the lie they're going with? Natural causes? All right. Excuse me! 
You're the Spectre, right? I am the Spectre. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. What's this Damn demonstration right about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Oh, he's this Can I kind count of... on your support in the next election? He's this kind of politician. You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest. As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. I thought the lesson of the first contact war was that there's other life in the galaxy and they have opinions too. Perhaps so, Commander. But if aliens feel free to express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? What happened at the mass relay was a misunderstanding. If you saw a child about to touch a gun, wouldn't you stop them? I'd pull them away, yes. I wouldn't shoot them dead. Okay, that is a fair point. The Turians definitely overreact. Uh, if you have Rex with you, then when Saraceno uh, talks about aliens expressing their opinions at gunpoint, uh, Rex's response is because they have bigger guns. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. Yep. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences. Politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. It's a good theory, but these people are making it sound like a racial issue. I can't deny that some of our supporters have extreme views. But our platform is also supported by economists, sociologists, and medical professionals. If you have Ashley with you, she's even more upfront about uh, Terra Firma's platform being sort of co-opted by just straight up racists. And like, she is disgusted by them. Which is funny, considering that she's kind of racist herself. Um, and yet she hates the Terra Firma Party. She, she is absolutely disgusted by the racism of the Terra Firma Party. But you don't do anything to curtail the racist comments of your members. Of course not, Commander. Whether I disagree with them or not, they have the right to express their opinion. Plus, you know, you don't want to risk losing their support, right? Yep. A racist vote counts for... A racist vote is still a vote, right? Yeah, one of those kinds of politicians. I think we all know some modern day examples of politicians like this. Sorry, I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like shan -Shi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. The occupation of shan -Shi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. All right, fine. That's a... That's a good slogan. It's a good buzz... It's a good buzz line. Very important thing here. Oh, sure, I can do that. Thanks. Hasn't worked well since I bought it. Hey, are you refunding his stuff? There you go. Your account will be credited. You did! You took his return! Look, I'm telling you, I bought this here. Why won't you return it? 
I can't take it back unless you... I know, I know, unless I have a proof of purchase. No returns oh, without a receipt. Oh, show me what you got. It's that simple, guy. No returns without a receipt. Where's the dude who has... Yes, human, you need... Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Not him. No conversations, uh, like there's no new conversation seeds drop on anywhere, uh, that I remember, as far as I can remember. There we go. Metagel grenade. Not that I need it, but nice to have. And now... This right here is the very last side quest in the game. This dude right here. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. No, we don't. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. Uh-huh. Yeah. Cut the heart, cell boy. I understand. Cut it's the heart, cell buddy. So what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. What exactly is this stimulant? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. If you know the monthly limits, why'd you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Salarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? <sighs> My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Why is this deal so important? The Solarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your My assistant. assistant. No race will respect us until we show them who's in Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. Uh -huh. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Point. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. Uh-huh. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. No. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand! Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. Wonder how many people he's been asking to buy him drugs. Hey, 
look at Doran. Look at Doran tearing up the dance floor here. I'm dancing with Doran. Oh yeah. Busting those moves. Those noises in the background are so weird. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. The Normandy's been grounded. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Islas. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Have a seat, the guys. The controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal Seriously, the Normandy, sit down. You're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. Probably true. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. He's special forces. He knows what he's doing. There's gotta be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He's not gonna let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be here. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. It's his ass and the line, so he gets to choose. It's your call, Captain. I'll break into the Ambassador's office. He made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Yes, I Let's am. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. What is that voice? I'm glad to be out of that. Uh, glad to be out of there. That music was getting be a bit much. And that's it. This is the Citadel done for, for this game. Nothing left to do. Uh, if you want to do any last minute shopping, you can, but there's nothing by this point in the game. You're almost certainly not going to have anything worth buying. Uh, if there are any side quests you didn't finish out, this is the time to do it. Really are. If your people don't need implants to use biotics, how come Asari don't use biotics more often? While the Asari have natural biotic abilities, not all have the desire to learn to use their abilities effectively. Are you kidding? To have that ability without implants and choose not to learn? <laughs> I'll never understand the Asari. I mean, it's commonplace to them. So, I mean, it's... Yeah, makes sense. Not all humans learn to play the guitar. Is it true that your biotic implants cause headaches, Lieutenant? I know some meditation exercises that might help. Thanks, Leora. I appreciate that. It makes me wonder what it would have been like to have Asari tutors instead of Turians. Given the attitude most young human males display toward my people, it seems Turians were the best choice. I mean... Hot teachers are a thing in the real world, and it doesn't stop 
boys from learning. I think they would have managed. And probably not have been traumatized. Normally here you'd get a, uh, a news report about the uh, negotiations. Um, with the Salarians either praising humanity's willing to compromise, willingness to compromise, or criticizing its uh, tendency to bull rush, depending on which choice made with the negotiator. All right. And here we go. Once you click on this, you're done with the Citadel. You cannot come back to the Citadel. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Yep. This is the last we'll see of the Citadel in, uh, in the first game. Decontamination in progress. Anderson? What are you doing here? I didn't send... <clears throat> I'll admit, that's very satisfying. Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. music and it just cuts off real sudden and it's so weird how sharp that cutoff is all right quick round of conversations can't believe we stole the normandy i know we'll all be court-martialed if this doesn't work out but part of me loves this Yeah. Letting out your pirate side, Presley, you you rebel you. Aw, oh, damn it, no sign of pursuit. I was hoping the council would send some ships after us. I was looking forward to putting the Normandy through her paces. Figured I'd get to see what this ship can really do. Saren's still out there. Maybe we'll get a chance to play hide and seek with Sovereign. You know, it doesn't seem like much fun when you say it, Commander. Fair. Do you need something? I have to go. I think it still sounds fun. Uh, Caden and Liara both have nothing to say about this. It's strange. Being a fugitive from the Alliance. This crew has sacrificed everything for you, Shepard. Don't let us down. No pressure. Quick behind the scenes note I am currently scratching a chance head. That's... I mean, you don't need to know that, but you needed to know that, right? It's important for you to know that I am scratching a cat's head. Stealing an Alliance ship? Risky stuff. But I'm right behind you, Shepard. It's the least I can do. Besides, it's not like you'll get in trouble. You're a mercenary, you're just along for the ride. If this goes sideways, you're probably not going to get thrown in jail. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy. Sometimes crazy is the best way to go. I just hope they don't catch us before we get our hands on Saren. You and me both. You'll get us through, Shepard. Thanks, Rex. So long, Rex. Shepherd. You're a buddy, Rex. Very sad. Big empty space, very sad. 
I can't believe we stole the Normandy. After everything you told me, uh, it seems a bit extreme, don't you think? Uh, quick bit of trivia. Apparently, the Turians were originally intended to make clicking noises. Um, it was decided that that would just be way too distracting. So instead, they got that metallic flang in their voice that uh, was really noticeable uh, with that, uh, with Garrus there. Stealing the Normandy is a trivial risk compared to the threat of Saren. Yeah, I suppose you're right. If you're wrong, we'll pay for it. But if you're right and we did nothing, I think we'd regret it a whole lot more. Yep. I just hope we can catch Saren before they realize we're missing. We'll catch him. Just be ready when we do. Yes, Commander. Heard we're headed into the Terminus systems, Commander. Don't worry, ma'am. The Normandy's a hell of a ship. She'll get us through this. Thanks for the voice of support, uh, Adams. We're fugitives on the run. Very exciting, Shepard. I wonder what the Council would do to us if we got caught. Such a dry delivery of that very exciting, Shepard. Your father probably has some political pull, right? He wouldn't let them throw his little girl in jail. You don't know my father. Stealing ships is a capital offense among my people. He'd probably want to execute us himself. So, not a great dad, but good admiral, I guess. Good trait to have in an admiral. The Normandy's the best ship in the fleet. They'll never catch us. Damn right. You're right. I should go. See you later. All right, and uh, I should make sure that everyone is properly equipped. Oh, before I do that, I almost forgot. The very last secondary codex entry, I believe. Terra Firma is an alliance political party formed after the first contact its policy agenda is based on the principle that Earth must stand firm against alien influences. This covers a variety of legislation. Recent activities by Terra Firma include opposition to a law requiring high school alien language study, a proposal to increase tariffs on alien imports, and leading a popular movement to mark the first contact war with the public, public holiday. Though founded by well-meaning individuals who feared the submersion of, a native, of native human cultures under a wave of alien vogue, Terra Firma's agenda attracts many jingoists and xenophobes. Honestly, high school alien language study, that actually sounds... I suppose requiring it, maybe not, but definitely as an elective, it would be, you know, fantastic. Uh, as for a popular, as for a holiday to mark the uh, first contact war, yeah. Yeah, why is that not already a public holiday, guys? And that's it. I read all the codex entries. There will be one more primary entry. Uh, but anyway, like I said, just going to make sure that all my equipment is best it can be. So I will be back in just a moment.
Looking for supplies? Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander.
Ah, uh, they'll never think to look for me at my own apartment. Ha <laughs> ha! I came back here because I wanted to try again to get uh, better armor for Shepard, but I actually looked it up and... Uh, the Colossus light armor you can't get uh, from the convoy. So, I'm stuck with what I got. Everyone is decked out as best they can be. As you can see, the galaxy map is still available. You can go to any planet um, in the galaxy. Never checked. Are you able to still land on... Can't imagine it's possible to land on Vermeer. Nope. Uh, Ferris and Avaria, obviously, those two planets both have uh, shops. If you want to go check if uh, there's anything new in the shops on those planets, you can. I don't believe there is. Really? There's only one thing left. Adjatotan has a pressure cooker atmosphere composed of carbon dioxide and ethane. Its scorching hot surface is mainly composed of sulfur, with deposits of gold. Surface gravity is comfortable at 1.0 standard Gs. There are several areas of debris that may be the wreckage of downed Prothean aerostat colonies. Based on the size of the debris fields, a population of over 100,000 was likely. Zaith is a relatively small hydrogen and helium gas giant. There are several tenuous belts of debris in equatorial orbit. Spectral analysis of the material suggests artificial origin, perhaps the remains of station that once mined safe for helium-3. And yeah. End of the game. But I am... Yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode, Ilos. And the first half of the endgame. See you then.